Nevada, is it a lean or a deed state? Whatever the answer is, <laughs> I think anybody would want a piece of Nevada with all the good things happening there. One thing you may not know, and I'll show you in this video, is how in Nevada, there's double the pleasure to make money. What I'm gonna show you is how to own a piece of property and turbocharge the return on it using Airbnb and tax deeds in Nevada. Have I mentioned free and clear, fully improved lots? Nevada is a haven for that, and I'll show you how in this video. Nevada is a dual state. That means you can get a tax deed, where you own the property free and clear, or a tax lien, which bears an interest rate. So you get double the opportunity to make money, depending on the county you're looking at. Nevada, as we all know, is the desert, right? That's where the home of the aliens and everybody else is, but you've also got Las Vegas and the Reno area. There's a lot of desert out there, but it's amazing what a big punch those two areas that are populated uh, come to when making money in tax deeds and tax lien certificates, both. Remember, it's a dual state. Now, the counties offer tax lien or deed sales various times through the year. So this is something you just gotta keep your eyes on. Unlike, let's say, Florida that has to, by state statute, start their tax lien sales by the last business day of May, in Nevada, it can be any time that the county chooses it. And they actually have options on whether they want to buy or sell tax lien certificates paying 10 to 20% or a straight deed to the property like it is in Clark County. Now, the redemption period in the lien side of things can vary from anywhere from 120 days up to two years, again, this is kind of like county's choice. It's like you're at one of the blackjack tables and it says de dealer choice. So the county says, well, we're going to offer liens. We're going to offer deeds. We're going to do six months. We're going to do two years interest rate. Whatever they say kind of goes with that. Kind of makes sense in Nevada, right? They kind of make up their own rules as they go, kind of. Now, when you're going to a tax deed sale, now remember, at a tax deed sale, what's happening is they've been delinquent on property tax for a number of years typically a minimum of four years. And so what the county is going to say is, look, enough's enough. We're going to start the foreclosure process. We're going to offer it up for sale. At that point of that sale, nobody can come in and redeem it in the state of Nevada. So unlike a redeemable deed state like Texas or Georgia or some of the others we've talked about, in Nevada, you put your hand up and say, I want this property, and they say sold, you own it. Now, you may have to clear title it. Now, I don't want to get into clearing title and cleaning. I thought I owned it. I got a whole video for that. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe and you can go find that video. And again, at any point, if you have questions, I see people writing questions. I answered the questions on there. So don't be bashful. Go, hey, you know, what's your favorite county? I don't know. Whatever you want to put in there, put in there and I'll answer it. Okay, but remember, you're buying the property to it. At that point, it's going to be the highest premium bidding. So for example, if I've got, uh, well, I don't know, let's say we're in Las Vegas and it's a half a million dollar property, Henderson, somewhere in that area, and I wanna go ahead and buy the property, and let's say opening bid is $20,000, and I bid it up to 50, 60, 70, $80,000. I own that property at $80,000. There is no opportunity for the property owner to come back and redeem. Now remember, they've had a minimum of four years to bring these up for sale. All sorts of notifications, we've gone through that in other videos. So it's not like, they go to school one day and come back and mom and dad has lost their property for a couple months and brought property taxes. We're talking years and years, lots of legal notices. They, in some cases, they have to certify they know their property's going up for sale. So rest your weary heart. You ain't taking somebody's property that doesn't know about it. So understand, every single property in the United States has property taxes. So let me give you an example. If I, you know, I'm from France. We were just talking about France and I want to own something in Las Vegas. I still have to pay property taxes in the state of Las Vegas or the county, excuse me, in the county, Clark County, let's just say. If I don't, it doesn't matter who I am or where I am, it is my responsibility to know that I own property taxes on it. In fact, actually France is a really good example. There was one in Houston, Texas that we had got and the property owner was literally on a sabbatical in France. We found this out and they were losing the property. And so we contacted the homeowners and got, you know, they said, we have no idea what had happened. We made some mistakes. The county had the wrong address. We weren't aware this was happening. I said, look, 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 just pay us the money plus the 25% and we're good. It doesn't matter who owns the property. Somebody can lose the property. Now, here's another side of that. 
It doesn't matter who I am. I don't have to be a U.S. citizen to buy tax liens or tax deeds in the United States. You can do this from anywhere in the world. See, you've heard me talk about this in other videos. I've taught more people how to invest in tax liens and tax deeds than anybody over the last 30 years, period. Nobody can say that face to face. When I say face to face, I've taught in Singapore, I've taught in Sydney, I've taught in, Mal taught in Malaysia. I, heck, I've taught on a boat floating down the Nile to 15 people that were interested in learning this because you didn't have to be that. So I'm listening to evening prayers in a Muslim country while I'm online getting interest rates, buying tax lien certificates. You don't have to be there to do that. And that's the beautiful thing. See, in Nevada, you can go to bid for assets and buy tax liens from anywhere. I heard that there's a tree house in the middle of the Amazon forest that you go up 180 feet above the canopy of the forest and they have internet. <laughs> and you know what, this is how weird I am. I thought, I wanna go to that tree house and buy tax liens while I'm on the top of the jungle and you know watching monkeys float around. This is how extraordinary this opportunity is. Now, in Nevada, like other deed states, if it doesn't sell at the sale, it will become available later on. In most counties in Nevada, that is a 30-day window. So in other words, once the property goes up and nobody buys it, you can go ahead and go into inventory. You have to wait 30, 30 days, not 30 minutes, 30 days before you can buy that from inventory on it. But one of the things I love about the, the tax uh, deed market there in the state of Nevada, there's a lot of land there, okay? Now, as they say down south, cuidado, be careful. Okay, I don't wanna buy land next to Area 57 or whatever that, you know, alien address is there. I wanna buy land near something. So maybe there's a subdivision that had, was a good idea at one point, but no longer was for whatever reason. It went defunct and I'm finding lots in there for $1,500, $2,000. But I can see that the progress is coming out there. If anybody has ever been to Vegas, what it looked like 15 years ago, as opposed to right now, is night and day. It's completely different. I had a friend of mine buy, doing the same things in another state. He was buying these tax deeds way out in the middle of nowhere. I, I quite frankly, was making fun of him because I'm like, he's like, someday it's going to go out there. I'm like, ooh, someday. Well, guess what? 12 years came and went because it happens like that. And now he's got a bunch of properties that are already subdivided, ready to go, and builders wanted to buy them off. And he took a very fractional investment, like less than $500, and turned it into a multi-thousand dollar deal. So just, I mean, keep your eyes open. There's tons of opportunity, not just in Nevada, but all over. But Nevada's fun. We're going there anywhere. I think it's the only, uh, Las Vegas is the only airport that has non-stops from almost any place in the country. So it doesn't take long to get there. Uh, here's the great thing, whether it's Nevada, California, Arizona, um, Montana, big skies of Montana, Wyoming, I can show you how to do it anyway. I've got some brand new training that spends a lot more time digging into exactly how this works. If you like it, I'm gonna give it to you for free. That's right. Just give it to you. Look at it. See if that's what you like. See if you can make your family some money. Just go to Higgins Method, that's H-I-G-G-I-N-S, method.com, and I'll give you a link to my free training right now. This is Sean saying God bless and good luck.